Okay. This is the Woody Show. Well, T Bass is there once again. How many years uh, has this been that you've been? I here? have. Well, the first year I ever went was like 2011, yeah. but I think I've been to eight. Oh, now? Eight. boy, seven Let's or say, eight. Yeah, just since you've been working on this show, one, two, three, four, five. This will be the sixth. Plus the march on Washington in 2017. Mm, right, obviously. <laughs> I forgot about Remember that. Remember they had one. the march on yeah. Washington? We're not were, a well, gang. They were, they were, yeah, because the FBI classified <laughs> them right, as a quote as a gang. loosely knit gang, which they're not a gang, but they are a force that you don't really want in your neighborhood. No. <laughs> <Or don't. laughs> because juggalos, the fans of the insane clown posse, they are prone. They're very poor and they're very uh, criminally inclined. Yeah. <laughs> and so if they're around, <laughs> crime will happen. Yeah, and so uh, Seabass went to their gathering. This is like their version of Lollapalooza. It's just uh, it's music and just people getting together. Events. It's a big family reunion. Yeah. Family, so family, family reunion. Yes. Family. That's right. Yes. Family. That's right. Family. Now, and where was it again this year? So the past few years, they've been at the uh, outside of Columbus, Ohio, a place called Legend Valley. They have a Lost Lands Festival there, or Lost Land, whatever it is, festival. It's like an EDM festival. It's kind of a, a big campground, but it's it's a good 20 miles outside east of Columbus, Civilization, Ohio. Yeah. Keep yeah. them contained. Yeah. <laughs> Which is nice, yeah. There's yeah. A, a small police presence. Uh, this year, not a lot of rests due to, because they don't really fight too much. Uh, the big the big worry this year is fentanyl, as it is uh, across yeah, the country yeah. to a certain degree. Yeah. Because when you're there on the get, on the side of the gathering, you'll walk by a tent, and on a cardboard sign outside that tent, it will say LSD. Okay. You know, uh, mushrooms, weed. You know, dabs. <laughs> so they're built blatantly. <laughs> are they looking or drugs. holding? <laughs> uh, no, they're they're holding, and or, and the big guys walking around. You know, saying you know, the sign that says Molly or whatever. <laughs> right. But wow. because fentanyl is such a big deal across the country. You know, there's people with I have people will walk around also with on the backpack. I'll say I have Narcan. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I have testing case. strips Jeez. because they know that people are going to go to the gathering and do a ton of drugs. Sure. Right. Yeah. But you're out in the middle of nowhere. There's no hospital anywhere near. <laughs> there's not really any kind of EMTs. Now you did say you were waiting for an Uber. What Uber driver in their right mind would <laughs> accept a pickup from that area knowing what was going on? It's funny you mentioned that because I took a ride back to the hotel yeah. one night because there's there are hotels like there's a Best Western, but it's. It's not walking distance. It's five, ten miles away. And he said, you know, I just came back from the, that uh, festival area. I took a guy to the hospital. He had a big <laughs> – he tore his hand up real, real bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Uh, so, yeah, there's no ambulances and whatever. But, yeah, you, but people are making a little bit of money because, you know, the thing is sure. – the, fo the folks who are super dirty and gross, Woody, to address your point, they're staying, they're camping on site. Right. They're not Ubering back and forth to the hotel. Yeah, the These classy are people. <laughs> I, yeah, those are the sort of safe people like myself. Mm -hmm. One of the people who's not so safe, our first piece of audio here, is a man named Alaska. Oh. On one of his <laughs> forearms is tattooed Juggalo. Yeah. Big, Sweet. you know, gothic script. Uh, the other is Alaska. And he's from Alaska. Oh, oh really? Right. Oh. And because if you're from a state, you got to get a tattoo sure. on your forearm. Real yeah. big. Yeah. I saw a guy the other day at the airport had a big MSP tattoo right under his eye. And uh, somebody asked him about it. Minneapolis, St. Paul? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Noise. <laughs> otherwise, yeah. how do I know the airport code of the city <laughs> yeah. I'm from? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put it right here on my cheek, <laughs> on right below plates. my yeah. eye. And people gave me crap when I said 99.5% of tattoos are stupid. Yep. Proof right there. Oh, anyway, Alaska, <laughs> older dude, because the, this is the 23rd, <laughs> as I gave wow. Raby my program I yes. got. 23rd gathering of the Juggalos. Uh, Alaska is going to tell us about his history with it. What is your name? Stony mother. Roni, party with Alaska. <laughs> I ain't moosing around. Moosing around? Moosing around. <laughs> Alaska getting. <laughs> and what number gathering is this for you? Nine. This is my home. Oh. You ain't here. You ain't oh. here. You're not partying with Alaska. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, yeah. my God. How does that guy get wow. to the gathering? Yeah. Funny you mentioned that, Ravy. From Alaska. <laughs> yeah. Because I was uh, oh searching through, God. again, the ICP message boards today. Yes. yes. This just from eight hours ago. Anyone know how to contact Alaska? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Trying to make sure this ninja is going to get home all right. Oh, no. <laughs> he has a um, long way to go. There I've are been to Alaska, and it is far. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, that's another, there's a number, of, number. a lot of people get there either by hitchhiking, uh, you know, there's bus. Yeah, bus, or the hitchhike's mm -hmm. halfway there. Just think of the trashiest way you can get anywhere. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of stench. So I talked to Alaska and said, hey, man, you've been to nine gatherings. You're an old, uh, old head juggalo, as they say. Mm -hmm. Yep. Favorite ICP song is? Do you have a favorite? Favorite ICP song? 
I live my life in the gutter. And this gutter is who I am. Take me come to my gutter. And I swear I will never leave again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and of course, is the ICP song, I'm Coming Home. Of yeah. I yeah. believe that dude is probably still at the campground. Yeah. <laughs> he sounds like he's drinking moonshine or something. Like, do you, do you know what he was on? I didn't. Uh, he had like a, you know, some kind of beer in his hand, and okay. I had some liquor. But for folks who don't know, one of my, because I don't, people say, oh, are you going to dress up? Are you going to put on the clown makeup and all that mm-hmm. stuff when you go to the ICP show? I say, no, no, no. They know that I don't belong. Yeah. Right. You me look tr- as a poser. Right. Me yeah. trying to blend in, they'll, that'll be even worse. Yeah. Okay. But I do carry a uh, little like keys and I have, you know, little airplane bottles of liquor. And I bought mm-hmm. at the gr- grocery store and they had this like purple one <laughs> for a dollar. I said, okay, I'll uh-huh. get a bunch of those. Yeah. So I had one. I said, hey, Alaska will drink anything, obviously. Right. Yeah. Let's oh see if he'll God. drink this purple concoction. Hey, I got some liquor if you want some. Yeah. I always <laughs> It's called Dr. McGillicuddy's Wild Grape. Jeez. <laughs> Tastes like you should be here. Yes. Purple haze. Is it good? Purple haze. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix was here. Well, thanks for talking to me, man. I appreciate it, all right? <laughs> Electric experience. All right. All right. Wow. He just made his day. I, he, Sweet. He just time traveled. You yeah. want some booze? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> How does he know yeah. Jimi Hendrix was there? I don't think that venue's, but the venue's Just, been around for a long time. I don't know. Yeah, we have a question on the text. Seabass, did you see a dude named Donovan in a motorized wheelchair? Uh, oh. Funny you mention That's actually, I. there's only one person I stopped and talked to, and that was Donovan. Because Donovan is a, he's a up and coming comedian. He's a, ah. a lot of people, a lot of comics I like, like Donovan. He goes by uh, on Twitter the name Crypt Daddy, because yeah, he is quadriplegic. Uh, and it was his first year, and I, I, I saw him actually walking in. And he walking? went, uh, well, in? I was walking in, in, he was rolling in. <laughs> okay. He said hi, very cool. Uh, I was very glad to see him out there because he's been kicked off Twitter a number of times because you might like him, Woody. He's very foul. Yeah. Uh, he just recorded his first album. So that's a, it's an interesting uh, text there. It was unrelated to anything. Uh, but yeah, that was the one guy I saw there that I was like, wow, that guy's, I, like, I was like, impressed that he showed uh-huh. up. Uh, moving on. Oh, quick bit of trivia. If you guys had to guess, mm-hmm. you know ICP loves throwing things at people. Mm-hmm. Sure. Famously, or not ICP, I should say, the Juggalos, the fans like throwing yes. things. Famously, Tila yeah. Tequila was at the gathering years ago uh-huh. and uh, got pelted off stage by feces. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Who got who or who got so much stuff thrown at them this year that they left the stage early? Ooh. Now I know you've got I mean, maybe you've got. I, I mean, she program. has a cheat sheet. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you want to read, read off the top few names of folks? Okay. Maybe our guys in right. the studio will guess. Uh, my guess out of looking at all this would be Riff Raff. It is Riff Raff! Oh. Riff Raff? Why? <laughs> but you don't know Riff Raff, he was big, I don't know, what, 10 years ago? Yeah. yeah. Like Pink Dreads. Mm-hmm. Uh, like looking at the list of people who were there, yeah, who he are? stood out to me. Because um, I'm like, there's a surprising amount of people I've heard of. Yeah? Sponge. Arrested Development. Sponge was there? Alien Ant Farm. <laughs> what? Sugar Hill Gang. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Legit but, performers. But then I saw Riff Raff. I'm like, oh. Yeah, but Riff Raff. Having I'm poop feel... thrown at them, it's going to be Riff Raff. That he would be part of the fold. Like, <laughs> why right. Would... Yeah. I think, Congratulations. Well, like, those mainstream acts, they're not going to throw stuff at, but if you're kind of, <laughs> sort of, like, not quite in the Juggalo family, but you're adjacent, yeah. like Riff Raff. Sponges. Yeah. I Sponge. know. Alien <laughs> Ant Farm is. Like, but, but see, they've got hits. Arrested Development? Arrested huh. Development, I could see. Like, the, the crowd won't than... throw stuff at them because they're just like, oh, they know, again, same team, same principle with me, Seabass, is they know those are normies. Okay. They're that mm-hmm. they know they're not trying to infiltrate or trying gotcha. to be cool. Riff yeah. Raff is sort of a weird, psychedelic, hypercolor rapper guy. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, and he he uh, did about 15 minutes in left. Got right. <laughs> <laughs> Who else did we meet at the Gathering of the Juggalos? Well, besides just watching the performances, you might see the up-and-comers. They have a lot of side stages mm-hmm. where people mm-hmm. will try out. And uh, this group called themselves Flight Risk. <laughs> Two dudes look to be about 40. <laughs> okay. I was ta- walking around. They walked up to me. They were handing out. <laughs> okay. They good. were handing out to promote their music. Uh, uh, loose cigarettes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, I said, oh, hey, Flight Risk. Is your new band? We're, I, I work for a station. Let's uh, tell me about your music. We are Flight Risk. Yep, Flight Risk, man. You know, we're both jugglos, so jugglos are looked at as, you know, criminals. On the flip side of that, though, not only criminals who might flee the state, but we were looked at as like terrorists and that's like what they would be called if they were trying to get up in an airplane oh you're a flight risk you can't get in here 
And that's uh, what we're trying to bring, yeah. whether it be viewed as like, <laughs> oh, we're terrorists or we're criminals, even though we're not. We're just trying to bring that kind of energy to the stage. All right, well, all right. We're trying to bring the criminal el- I think, energy. Mm-hmm. If you're going to call yourself flight risk, mm-hmm. you should understand what they mean by flight risk. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think they like, got the first part of it right. Like, uh-huh. exactly. right. Criminals yeah. might leave the state. Yeah. Sure. Not, that, a, ri- not yeah. a risk to a flight. If right. the drug law could afford it. <laughs> exactly. uh, yeah. But on the, other flips, on the flip side of it, yeah. uh-huh. so we're trying to bring that whole Taliban vibe to the stage. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so these two dudes, uh, I wanted to ask them, well, what sort of things do you sing about? We hit on multiple sh- you know, uh, obviously Juggalo, you know, cop another one. That's a free track. That's featuring my homie, No Clout. You know, zeros <laughs> for the O's. Okay. That's all about, you know, smoking weed. We've even got some sh- that's a little more heartfelt. We've got a track uh, <laughs> that me and him both split called Two Queens and a Jack. And that sh- about having a woman who does you wrong. And then you end up finding another woman. And she ends up leaving you. You you had two queens. Now you're left with Jack. Oh, that is a hard. Right. That's a heartwarming. Wow. So of course I went to their website, which we'll discuss in a moment. Yeah. Downloaded these songs for y'all to Ooh. listen to. Oh, Bangers. Bangers. That first one he talked about. It's about smoking weed, featuring No Cloud. That's spelled N the uh, zero C L zero U T. If you're okay. looking them up, uh, again, cop another one. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> We got flight risk in the nest again. Yeah. Bringing it with our boy, no clout. New music. Time to cop another one. You know we had to do this. Cop and drop another one. All of us are getting lit. Did he record this on his iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Android? The compression's not quite there. <laughs> yeah, it's like over-modulated. And... <laughs> All right, maybe that's All not right. your... I mean, huh. Raby loves it. Cause uh, it's smoking it's weed. good yeah. stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Greg, a more heartfelt stuff. Yeah, Greg yeah, wants uh-huh. something that really yeah. Yeah. speaks to the heart. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like if I recorded something. So too... <laughs> Yours would be better. Yes, we are out here. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, we two, have to gather. Two queens and a jack. Uh, here's a little verse again right. about finding it. Walking hey, out. honey, I'm home. Who the f- is this? Get out of my house. Hell yeah, I'm pissed. What the hell, you cheap bitch? I was good Whoa. to you. I'm going to go to the bar and have a drink or two. Hey, bartender, can I get a Bud Light? Because me and my girl just had a big fight and I'm gone. <laughs> I ain't going back. I better just buy a whole bottle of Jack. Ah, yeah. Right. Wow. Uh, I love the beat, but yeah, yeah overmodulated. Yeah, Bad. Yeah. Maybe, maybe <laughs> take two. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's the problem. Recorded a little too hot. Whatever uh, stage ballad. they were on, I'm sorry, they did not make the program. Oh, come on. Oh, we, Flight risk. Well, that's yeah. the thing is you go there, you make connections. You know, it's like any music or industry yeah. thing. You got to make connections. They didn't make the Martian stage. Well, if you want to buy that music, <laughs> uh, guess what? I did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> here's how you get your own. All right. Go to flightriskct.com and buy the $20 folder. That's the 20 songs yeah. that we're selling. Oh, wow. Yeah. And our 10 songs for free for 20 bucks. Yep. You know, a third of our music is always going to be free. That way, juggalos who don't have a f- dollar can still enjoy our sh-. But on the, on the flip side, we are trying to eat. <laughs> this is how we're trying to make our money. Like, so we, we do want y'all to buy some sh- but... I understand. I've been a juggalo for like 17 years. We're broke. Yep. <laughs> we're, we're mostly broke. <laughs> I've been a juggalo since 1997, so <laughs> I'm 40 years old. Yeah, and how long have you been a yeah. janitor? <laughs> <laughs> you should keep that job. They're, they're trying to out juggalo each other. Like, yeah. oh, you've been a fan since yeah. then. I've been a Ravy, fan since then. how old here. was uh, J.K. Rowling yeah. when she first published Harry Potter? I know. She, she was didn't... A- Older. Didn't, she, didn't give up. <laughs> no. Yeah. Kept, Ricky Gervais, right? Another right, story right. about That's a guy. A good, who, yeah, yeah. good one. Inspiration. Not in his yeah. 40s, really fell. Flight fun. risk. Don't give up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hang in there. Flight <laughs> risk. This is how we eat. I don't think they're going to eat for a while. Oh, well, you know what, uh, Menace? Actually, I gave him 20 bucks just for talking to him. Oh, me. damn. Aw. <laughs> Thanks for stopping. I'll, can I give you 20 just for throwing the pot? You guys offer the cigs. That man, dude. Thank, thank you, you man. dude. No, you yeah, man. Something. And then you went online oh, and got wow. the music. So I, they they got forty bucks. Dude, in my cash. they're yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, they, were, they, they hey, should give me like a download code or yeah. something. Yeah, <laughs> it's, cl- it's just classic sales. You know, they yeah. have, if you yep. give somebody something, they they were gonna they're gonna reciprocate. Yes. They offered me a loose cigarette to start this whole oh, conversation. Oh wow. yeah, they did. Flight <laughs> risk. Nice. Yeah, that's nice.
All right, marketing. Gathering of the Juggalos 2023, Seabass on the scene. Oh, there was a wet t-shirt contest, as there is every year, the highlight of which oh, involved uh, live sex acts on stage. Uh, yeah. Huh. Well, lady on lady, of course, so super hot. Nice. Greg, you would have liked it. Hell yeah. Uh, but as the, all the girls, they got all, they all wet and bothered and lathered up, and they got done. And I mm-hmm. talked to some of the finalists, some of the winners, <laughs> to see why they... Winners. Okay, this is a stage. It's not a of, word I would use. Yeah. How dare you, Ravy? The top prize was like three hundred dollars. Everyone else got an amulet. Oh, an Sweet. amulet. <laughs> uh-huh. Talking to some of the four or five of the top ladies about why they did the wet T-shirt contest. Why did you guys decide to join the wet T-shirt contest at the gathering of the Juggalo? Because f- it, I'd regret it if I didn't. Yeah, I'm a f- yeah. Juggalo, and I love. T- like, you know, it's, it's hot out here. You splash around mm. in a tub with a bunch yeah. of hot girls and splash water on each other. Like, yeah. it's heaven, really. Now, why are you smacking this other girl's butt so much? It's an ass. Like, why wouldn't you smack it? Why uh, wouldn't you? Don't you want to smack it? You don't want to smack it? Very red. It's very red. Yeah, it's very nice. nice. Uh-huh. Very nice. Greg, you it would is like heaven. This. No, that, that I support. Mm-hmm. I mean, is it, does it, okay, Greg, yeah. who, for folks who don't know, Greg loves a les- accidental does. lesbianism. Yeah, yes. sure do. Yeah. doesn't want anything to do with a woman otherwise sexually, but, uh, no, but to watch, watch some watch. lesbians. This yeah. is more, uh-huh. cor- but see, this nice. is more coordinated lesbianism. Yeah, nice. Yes. Right, I'm not picturing them to be all that hot, though. This is 5 p- How dare you, Greg? This is, <laughs> Greg. This is 5 p.m. It's 90 degrees outside, 90% humidity. Uh-huh. There's a few hundred screaming juggalos. the showers that you would have if you didn't do it. Say that's exclusive to that music festival. I have not seen that anywhere else. No. And by the way, wet t- <laughs> the wet T-shirt is a very, a very loosely applied. It's basically let's get naked and again in water simulate, <laughs> but then actually do things. <laughs> uh, now, I, ladies, you're young. Uh, Sammy's never done one. Next year, what Maybe. Are your, these are some of the top ladies. These are some of the winners here. Okay, what should I do next year, ladies? If or you should do if you really want to show off. Right. What were y'all strategies for the wet T-shirt contest today? <laughs> butthole. The butthole oh, strategy. Wow. So nice. Show your b-hole. Yeah! Look at that, look at that, look at that. <laughs> for girls who have never done it before, what's your tips for next year? Show your butthole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Smack Again. that ass. Be creative. Spin around. Yeah, oh, creative. Yeah. Yeah. Creative. Yeah. yeah maybe spin around. Showing your beehole. Yeah, maybe paint it. Uh huh. <laughs> Booty hole brown. Oh my god. Yeah, for the wet T-shirt contest, uh, what would you say would be your number one tip? Show your butthole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but that has nothing to do with T-shirts, right? You're right. Oh it doesn't god. matter. So the winner who got three hundred bucks, they probably got jumped, right? How dare I mean, you, Greg? This is a yeah, family. That is a ton of money. Yeah, uh, yeah you don't want to be... Are you be... kidding? That's a juggalo that's like a millionaire. Juggalo millionaire. No, That's going home in yeah. style. Well, did you hear how, high, how hyped those guys were? I gave them 20 bucks. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. You didn't talk about the food vendors this year. Food vendors were pretty standard. They have a pizza slash, uh, you know, like twisted garlic knots area. Mm-hmm. Were they raw like last yeah. year? <laughs> <laughs> they were not. Oh, they had a pickle right. pizza that was quite delightful. Oh, was there that. inflation? Uh, yes, there were juggalos were hella dumb, mad, pissed because they oh, would boy. say like, "Oh, it's thirty bucks for a bowl of mac and cheese with you know and, and a drink or whatever." That being said, juggalos they don't plan ahead very well. So. No, because you can you can. This is but you know people we go to festivals all the time. Yeah. They they're checking bags, checking your pockets, metal detectors. None of that at the gathering. You can, wow! You, as long as you got a wristband, which I'm wearing right now, yeah, you can walk in with pretty much. I saw a guy rolling in a grill. <laughs> what? <laughs> on one of Menace's wagons, wow. dude. Like that's you can bring, awesome. you can bring any kind of liquor, any kind of drugs. Any, as long as it's not rip. like a giant stage setup. Anything yeah. you can fit in a backpack or a cooler, it's not getting checked. So there's no reason to to buy food on site or to not to buy liquor on site. Yeah. So you, you can, can picnic bring... there. Yeah, you... oh, yeah. <laughs> that also requires thinking ahead. But yeah. again, planning. Yeah. Uh, there's so many messages where like, oh, hey, we I lost my wallet. I can't get home. Yeah. Uh, or I didn't bring enough money to get back to the Greyhound station. Oh, wow. Again, the planning ahead is, there, is the main problem. But Not how do you way... keep that stuff safe? Do you tie it in a tree like a bear or something? <laughs> That's the problem is because <laughs> if you leave it in your tent, there's a good chance it'll get raided. It'll get stolen. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. so, but if you leave it on you, there's a good chance it'll get lost in the mosh pit. So what are you going to do? Yeah. They're the leaders of the culture. Yeah, and hey, ladies, don't forget. For girls who have never done it before, what's your tips for next year? 
Show your butthole. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Be creative. Spin around. Yeah. Next time you're entering yes. that wet T-shirt contest, remember the butthole strategy. Oh. Yeah. It's funny. I heard this uh, from a friend of a friend, but they, there's there's guys who are job is to spray down the girls at the wet T-shirt contest. And oh, sweet. One of the guys said that uh, when she was showing herself her rear end, uh, mm -hmm. he had to kind of clean it off, clean it off for her. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh God. Uh, Booty hole brown. That <laughs> is TMI. Yeah. All right, uh, we have one more clip here from the Gathering of the Juggalos. This is a clown that was walking around, like a group of clowns, all kind of in white and light blue makeup. That was their theme. Her name's <laughs> Lulu. She had a guy and a girl with her, and she's going to introduce herself and, and her posse. All right. Lulu, you said you and Jace met how? Um, well, he's been a fan of mine for around three years, but we met last year at the Gathering. He ran up to me when I was tripping balls and was like, oh, my God, I love you. <laughs> and then I remembered him because he had, like, really pretty blue eyes, and I was like, oh, my God, I know that guy. Now, Lulu, what do you do? Oh, well, I am, uh, I work on Fansly. It's sort of like the only... It's like OnlyFans, but um, more of a morally, like, justifiable company. You know, they treat our, uh, the employees a lot better, and they actually check, like, IDs more often, you know? Oh. Allegedly. Hmm. Is this like a fairy that fell from the sky, <laughs> or so, she's yeah. just there for work? <laughs> she is a clown stripper uh, okay. a pornographer. On All right. Fansly. But she met this guy, Jace, last year when she was out of her mind on drugs. Yeah, mm -hmm. tripping balls. And they, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. kind of became friends. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what she nice. is, is with one of her other friends there is they've got one of those, you see a lot of these signs. People will get some piece of cardboard and write, you know, uh, slap me in the, kick me in the, well, the kick me in the nuts guy from a few yeah. years ago. Uh -huh. Right, yeah. Well, she and her friend have different things that uh, men can do, you know, mm -hmm. for different amounts of money, and they're going to talk about those. Like okay. a menu board. Right. Nice. Nice. Right. That's a number of sexual and or romantic acts that you can pay good money for. Which of these would you say you've gotten the most uh, uh, response from? Actually, surprisingly, hugs, but I think that's just because juggalos are kind of cheap. Oh. I've my ass motorboated twice yesterday. Oh. Oh. Spitting in mouths, that's yes. actually the most popular one. Yeah. $3 to spit in somebody's mouth? Yep. I mean, that's how we're eating. Thirty dollars yesterday? Huh. Nice. Oh, wow. wow. Thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. Yeah. Nice. Damn, I girl. Saw, I saw that last year too. Is men will pay women at the gathering to spit in the man's mouth. <laughs> in this case, they're offering it up for three Cute. bucks. Wow. Cute. Or uh, motorboat her butt cheeks. That was on there too. You heard that? Nice. Yeah. Thirty bucks. That other one, one girl made. Yeah. That's Good mac time. and cheese money. I'm always so surprised <laughs> on how cheap sex work is. Well, that's, so, what they say. that's what they say. People are like, yeah. oh, just go on, go on OnlyFans or Fansly. Mm -hmm. if you're, no, girl, you got to be in the top, 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 top percentages to actually make money. Yeah. Otherwise, you're almost giving it away for free. Yeah. So start saving your money. Bucks. <laughs> you can attend the gathering next year. Ooh, get yeah. that Greyhound bus money together. <laughs> Hell yeah. Or if you want to get really crazy, you can uh, stay at the Best Western. If that is crazy. Only five miles down the road. Is it totally sold out? Apparently they have out? Ubers going back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> And then you too can uh, can be there <laughs> and experience firsthand the gathering of the Juggalos. Yes. Oh, my God. See you there, Ravy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. I can't wait to go yeah. next year.